This is Code.org. I'm working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 17, Building an App Canvas Painter, Puzzle 16. Fix the original button. I was wondering about this. If you don't have a bunch of code here, you need to go back into the other parts of this lesson. Fix the original button. Our original button is now slightly broken because the effect it renders doesn't match our freeform drawing, which takes the movement of the mouse into account. Yeah, it just goes back because we hard-coded in the radius of it. Watch. Now, random and original, right? That's not the original. If I draw this, watch. So, it goes to radius of 5. Do this. In the event handler function for our original button, change the value you used to the radius from a fixed value to the same thing you calculated for your free form. Drawing. Since you wrote the function to do this calculation, it should be easy to call it from this code as well. It will, because we also have the event saved. So when we use the event here as a parameter for dot radius, we use event dot movement x as a parameter for dot radius. Well, we save this event also by appending it to event list. So now we can go through the, ind uh, the index of event list, the indices of event list, and do the same thing with dot notation, except event list, uh, and then in square brackets, two. And that would be the third event we appended to this. So event list square brackets two dot movement x will be the movement x of the third event we appended to this. It will work the same, and we can recall it and redraw it with accuracy. All right, so, and they're, here they're trying to show us what they want us to do. And mouse move. Yeah, so we are going to be looping through is the difference because we loop through each index as we redraw. So where is original? And we already have a, a for loop in original. So what we need to do now, instead of five, we're just going to take this out. And like I did before, we want to call, oh, well, that's because I just made an error. We want to call, I feel like it's easier to read in this mode. Um, we want to call our function dot radius. And what are we going to use for parameters? Well, we're looping through event list. And so we're going to use event list at i, whatever part of our for loop we're at right now. So we'll start with the first index, which is index 0. And so then we're going to get the whatever event is at index 0, whatever dot we drew, which would be the first dot we drew on the screen. What we're going to get the offset x of it, which is its x location and its y location, because we want to redraw it. And then for the radius, we're going to run dot radius, just like we did before, and get the at event list 0 will go in the place when this is on its first run through, and then 1, then 2. Uh, we're going to get dot movement x, because this is how we're calculating the speed, comma, event. I'm going to go back to show text. Maybe it will let you see then. Uh, it won't, so I'm going to hit enter so you can. Event list uh, dot radius movement x, and then event list i still, right? Because it's going to be that same point, whatever is at the index i of our array event list dot movement y and so then the function takes movement whatever our movement was at x and then at y and calculates the speed again and returns the output and that output is what is going to be used for the size of each dot so it's just grabbing each dot as it loops through our array of events and then we are running dot radius asking it hey for this point this event in our list Here's the X movement. Here's the Y movement. What is the speed? Okay, we're going to redraw it just like before at that speed. So that is a bit complicated, but it kind of makes some sense, hopefully. Let's see if it works. Uh, what's this going to be about? Yeah, that's fine. All right, reset and run. And then I'm going to draw. And let's see, original. And it's the exact same, random, original. Right, let's delete it. Try one more time. 
and then watch the original. Exact same. Cool. Perfect. Great. Let's uh, keep going.